This is Bill with Dine Drink Vegas. It is March of 2023, and I'm here inside a pavilion room at the El Cortez Hotel and Casino. The El Cortez has a lot of good things going for it. It's got some of the best gambling odds in Vegas. Seagulls 1941 is probably my favorite breakfast in Vegas. And they've got several really nice rooms. Unfortunately, this class of rooms, the pavilion room, isn't one of the good groups, and I'd urge you to avoid it. What I want to do is take you on a tour of the room real quick, and then after I show you the room itself, I'm going to take you on a walk outside to show you why it's probably not what I'd choose. So, in terms of the room, it's fairly standard. You've got two queen beds, and my brother-in-law with a pillow on his head. Everybody say, hi, Mark. Hi, and, everybody. Um, there wasn't housekeeping service today. You do have a nice big piece of furniture, a fairly standard-sized TV and all of that. Now, one of the things I noticed immediately is that I'm not seeing a whole lot of power plugs. We'll get to that in a minute. One of the benefits and advantages of this hotel is that they've got a Keurig, because I can't tell you how many times I've woken up in Vegas in the morning, I've needed coffee, and something like that has saved my life. So cool. That is a great feature of the room. They've also got a refrigerator, which is a great advantage if you want to bring some of your own drinks or something like that. They do have power plugs down there, but they're occupied. And they got some power plugs over here, but it's literally in a crack beside the bed, so there's not really any place to put yourself. It's like that's where you're going to charge your phone. Coming here, standard vanity, a real, real small closet space, but you'd be able to hang your things, extra towels, all of that. Standard amenities, pretty standard bathroom with a shower only. So, so far so good. It's not that it's the most exciting hotel room in the world, but you know, it's, it's, it's fine, right? It's standard and it's typically quite cheap. And remember again, this is the pavilion room. This isn't one of their tower rooms. This is specifically the pavilion room. But let me show you now why it is that I don't know that this is what I would book. As we go out the door, it looks like everything I didn't like about hotels in 1982 when we would travel on road trips. You come out, you've got an exterior breezeway. Now to get here, you do have to go through a um, elevator in the hotel. You come up, you've got to use your key card, so it's safe, but you know, lots and lots of marijuana smoke, lots and lots of noise. When Container Park down there is being loud, it's also a little bit hard probably to get to sleep at night. So it's a loud room in a location that I don't know that I particularly enjoy. So I, would I say in the El Cortez again, yeah, absolutely. Check out our room reviews because there are several other rooms at this hotel that we've enjoyed very much. Would I stay here in one of the pavilion rooms? I don't think I would. At Dine Drink Travel, at Dine Drink Travel Vegas, what we try real hard to do is bring you short, focused reviews to give you the information you need to plan your next trip to Vegas. If we've done that here, I would really appreciate your support for the channel by clicking like and subscribe. We also love to hear from our viewers. So use the comments section down below and tell us what you think about the El Cortez. Where do you stay in Vegas? And ask us any questions you have. Thanks so much and happy travels.